This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, Who is Really the Racist Here? The far left insists the famous Trump, Make America Great Again baseball cap is an overt sign of racism, very much akin to the wearing of white hoods by the Ku Klux Klan. In fact, any hat in support of the president is considered racist from their perspective. This surfaced again recently with the confrontation in Washington, D.C. between students of Covington Catholic and a Native American, where one of the students wore his Make America Great Again hat and stood his ground without provoking any action. The mainstream media and the far left considered this outrageous behavior by the student and called for disciplinary action or to cause harm to him. The truth is, of course, the student did nothing wrong and didn't try to provoke the incident. But the left and the news media would have us think otherwise. This is obviously not the first time the far left has freaked out over a Make America Great Again hat. There are numerous instances of meltdowns documented on YouTube alone. So why are they doing this? Two reasons. First, they've been conditioned by the media to react this way. And second, they are worried by the political inroads President Trump has made with blacks and Latinos in terms of the economy. For example, unemployment for these groups are down, and if they lose these groups, they will likely lose the next presidential election. However, there is certainly no basis to indicate Republicans are racist, both today and in history. The term is simply being used to condition voters as we approach the 2020 election. The Democrats should be very familiar with how racism works, as they have considerable experience with it. Filmmaker and conservative political commentator Dinesh D'Souza frequently points out the American Civil War was fought not just between North and South, but between Democrats, representing slave owners, and Republicans, representing the anti-slavery movement. Interestingly, he contends no Republican is known to have owned a slave, yet Democrats use them extensively. The Ku Klux Klan emerged shortly after the Civil War and was intended to promote resistance to Reconstruction of the South as led by the GOP. Their intention was to secure white supremacy against blacks and undermine white Republican state governments. Not surprising, the KKK was led by Southern Democrats who fought and lost in the war, particularly former Confederate soldiers. To this end, Reconstruction historian Eric Foner observed, quote, In effect, the Klan was a military force serving the interests of the Democratic Party, the planner class, and all those who desired restoration of white supremacy, end quote. Closely related to this were the Jim Crow laws enacted by white Democrat-dominated state legislators after the Reconstruction period and enforced until as late as 1965. This led to the segregation of public schools, public places, public transportation, restrooms, restaurants, and drinking fountains for whites and blacks. Even Democrat President Woodrow Wilson, who was the first Southern-born president of the post-Civil War period, initiated segregation of federal workplaces in 1913. He also appointed many Southern Democrats to his cabinet, who also pressed for segregated workplaces. Despite all of this history, the far left wants us to believe Republicans, and President Trump in particular, are guilty of racism. This is Pavlovian politics at its worst, all being touted by the mainstream media. There are three things the Democrats fear and are determined to destroy, which I refer to as the three C's, Christianity, capitalism, and conservative principles. What we are witnessing today is a frontal assault on all three by the left. Christianity is under attack for the moral values embodied within it. Socialism is being pushed to replace capitalism. Socialism has regularly been proven to be a disastrous form of socioeconomics. And conservatism is being portrayed as a heartless set of moral values along with a belief in an antiquated document known as the U.S. Constitution. This is the real reason they call Republicans racist, to undermine their sense of values and interpretation of America. The fact young people have lost sight of history, civics, and the Constitution, which are seldom taught in public schools anymore, makes them prone to programming by the news media. They may call Republicans racist, but they cannot change historical facts. Well, wait, wait a minute. Maybe they can. After all, Democrats have been tearing down a lot of historical statues lately, haven't they? 
using racism as a political weapon is a nasty business. It should not be used frivolously as it has serious repercussions. It should be based on facts, not innuendo or condition response. Having the Democrats reflexively call Republicans racist is like the pot calling the kettle black. Calling someone as such is slanderous and should be taken to task. Let's be clear. Wearing a Make America Great Again hat is certainly not racist. In fact, you should wear the hat with pride. By the way, you can purchase the Make America Great Again hat in many places on the Internet, such as Amazon and Walmart. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbrice.com.